Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a music producer, recording engineer, musician, and songwriter, and I'm also a longtime user of Logic Pro. In this 10-part course, I'm going to give you detailed tutorials demonstrating all of the main new features in Logic Pro 10.7.5. Now, even though numerically version 10.7.5 might seem like a minor update, there are actually some huge workflow, MIDI, audio, and mixing enhancements that I think you'll really find helpful, including nested track stacks, a new gain tool, MIDI effects plugin output recording, a new free record feature, enhancements to smart tempo, and many others. So let's jump right into this with our first new feature, nested track stacks. This new feature improves the track stack hierarchy, allowing you to put track stacks inside of other track stacks. This is particularly helpful for mixing when you want to group together multiple tracks in a summing stack and then sum together those summing stacks with another summing stack. So I'll give you two examples here of how this can be really helpful for your mixing workflow. So here I've got multi-track drums, I've got a kick in mic, I have a kick plus sample layer track that is MIDI, I've got snare side, snare top, a snare sample layer, three toms, hi-hat, overheads left and right, and a mono room track. Now, if I wanted to mix my like instruments together, I might consider combining the kick tracks, combining the snare tracks, the toms, and the hi-hat, and other cymbal mics, and the room mic. So what I can do is select both kick in and kick plus here, and then go up to track, create track stack, or press shift command D, and then I'll create a summing stack. And what this will do is it'll create a summing stack where all of my kicks are summed together within this summing stack. And then I might do the same thing for the snares, shift command D, create a new summing stack. I'll call this snares. So now all three of my snare tracks are in a summing stack. I'll do the same for my toms. Now I have my toms in a summing stack. And then I'll do the same with all of my overheads and my other cymbal tracks. So I'll just call this overheads and cymbals. So now I have my drum kit grouped into four summing stacks. In previous versions of Logic, this is as far as you could go. However, now you can select multiple summing stacks and you can add these to another summing stack. So I'll create another track stack, use a summing stack, and I can just call this drums. So now my entire drum kit is being organized into this summing stack, and then I have individual summing stacks for each group of instruments. Now when you look at this in the mixer, you'll see that you can open up your main track stack here, and then above that there are additional sort of hierarchy disclosure triangles here where you can open up your additional summing stacks. So this is a really great way to organize your acoustic drum kit recordings and not just for organizational reasons, but also for managing the signal flow for mixing more complex multi-channel instruments like drums. Another really helpful new workflow with nested track stacks is you can now combine multiple drum machine designer kits together in a single track stack. Now, if you didn't know this already, Drum Machine Designer itself is organized in a track stack. So when you open up the mixer and you click here, you'll see all of the individual multiple outputs from that Drum Machine Designer kit. Here's a second Drum Machine Designer kit. If I open that up, you can see all of the outputs of that kit as well. And you can do this up here in the tracks area as well. Now, previously, there was no way to put a drum machine designer kit inside of a track stack or with other instruments or other loops. Here you can see I have a shaker MIDI loop as well as a shaker audio loop in addition to my two drum machine designer kits. If I wanted to combine all of these together in a single summing stack so I could mix them as a single unit, I could just simply add these to a new track stack, choose a summing stack, and now I have all four of these tracks grouped into a single summing stack. And again, previously you would have not been able to group together multiple drum machine designer kits inside of a summing stack. So that's nested summing stacks in Logic Pro 10.7.5, a very helpful workflow and mixing feature.